Welcome back to Vancouver International Airport, where we will do my very first Trans-Pacific trip report. Today we are on board the Airbus A350-900 Twin Jet, China Airlines Flight CI-31, service from Vancouver to Taipei. Flight time is approximately 12 hours and 10 minutes. Now on today's flight, I am seated at 62J in economy class, and when you look at the interior cabin with the theme of Asian aesthetics, which fuses creativity to give the cabin just the right of touch and warmth and hospitality. Now once seated, you are greeted with a wonderful IFE screen, which showcases the beautiful scenery of Taiwan. Now, prior to our entrance, we were given headphones and we were also given a nice warm blanket as well, especially on this 12 hour flight. And on our seats, you'll find a nice comfortable pillow as well. Now on each eye of these screens, you have your universal power outlet and your headphone jack. And at the bottom of your seats as well, you will find a power plug to charge your devices. Now I've flown the Boeing 787 and also the A350s in the past. And what I've noticed is that Airbus seats are much more wider and much more comfortable than its Boeing counterpart. But nevertheless, both aircrafts is amazing. And the design on this seat, it's just classic. As expected, we started taxiing in the runway about 2.10 in the morning. Let's go ahead and explore the IFE screen in front of me and see what selection does China Airlines have. And I can tell you that their selection on movies, TV shows, music, games is quite extensive and offers a really good selection on Asian movies and also Hollywood films as well. sure a lot of aviation fanatics like myself will find a lot of joy looking at the 3D Voyager map and it's an interactive map that showcases your flight path the distance you've traveled your speed and your approximate arrival time to the destination as well Just about under two hours into our flight, we begin our very first meal service. Now for today's meal, I have chosen the chicken and rice. Now this meal also comes with a bread roll and butter on the side, some fruits and potato salad, a bottled water, and a chocolate bar as well. I also asked for an orange juice for this flight. And let me tell you, the food was delicious. Did not disappoint. Now, China Airlines does offer some internet options as well. If you want to do some work or streaming, you can purchase the internet on board. Now, the lavatory and the economy class was very spacious and I honestly love their hand wash gel 
and my personal favorite was the eucalyptus mist which actually helped me go to sleep much needed but overall it's a standard lav pretty good pretty clean and just overall well kept now two hours prior to the arrival the cabin crew prepared their final meal service now in this service they do have an orange juice a cup of coffee yogurt some fruits and for my meal i've chosen the chicken sausage and rice which was pretty good as well i mean right now it's hot and cloudy sky the cold temperature is 20 degrees celsius equals to 68 degrees in fahrenheit the SMA robot time will be 515 Now my overall experience with China Airlines was fantastic. The seats was comfortable, the cabin crew was attentive, the ambiance was peaceful, the flight was on time, and overall a positive experience. Now I was on my way to the Philippines and I have used this airline before back in 2017 and this Taiwanese brand airline is a fantastic airline when making connections to Manila. The layover in Taipei was only 2 hours, which made for a shorter duration of the travel time altogether. You can easily save $400-$600 dollars on flying with China Airlines with a stopover of 2 hours, then directly flying via Philippine Airlines. Now right ahead you see Starlux, which is another Taiwanese Airlines that I would love to try in the near future. Now that's it for today's trip report from Vancouver to Taipei. We'll see you on the next one.